Now let's navigate to products, all products. And before changing or adding the cross sell and off sell product, let's navigate to WooCommerce settings and change the currency to US dollar. Save changes. Now navigate to all products. So I'm going to open a simple product here and let's add or click link products and select upsell products. Let's say let's uh, product one so product one is out of stock product two product three so here is the product three and this is upsell product i have added this simple product area click on update open in a new tab scroll down and here you can see you may also like so this is the upsell product and here is the related products so i hope you understand how the upsell product work and also if i go to editor then if i add cross sell let's add product one product three and then click update reload the page it will not gonna display here because the cross sell is displaying in a different place let's click add to cart and click view cart and here you can see you may be interested this is the cross sell product and there are a couple of other products let's remove them first because i was using only simple products so here you can see the cross sell products reload and it's not coming from simple product we have added product one and product two but somehow the cross sell product has some color issue let's try what is happening here so there was some background color issue and we can fix this one easily we can simply add a background color here I was looking some easy way let's add margin top 10 pixel so it's not going to work okay it's working let's increase well now it looks better padding 10 pixel so it's it's an uh, little misconfiguration maybe the css bug or something like that that we can fix it easily using custom css code so i hope our concern team our extra developer team will fix this issue very soon and that's it so this is how the upsell and cross sell product works so let, let's fix this color issue here simple let's fix this So that you can also if you're if you're practicing yourself you can also change it from your side so let's add some custom style here cross the area let's select this one padding zero important or we can use background so let's add red color it looks like this instead of using red color i'm gonna use the same color here that's it and also margin top 20 pixel okay so i have to add margin top not here rather than this part 
margin top 20 pixel now as you can see it looks perfect and the out of stock text is not looking good here we can simply change it to so this will only applicable inside cart page that's why i have added cart font size 10 pixel maybe there is no nothing like cart page it's still so big okay now it's displaying out of stock so we have added few custom css code let's copy and here is the cross cell here is margin top and here is the font size now there is one thing that we have changed this setting inside cart page and we have to copy this setting first go to elements and see if is there any specific class for this page so if you are not a developer or programmer i do not recommend you to change these settings but if you are familiar with them then you can change it so i'm, I'm looking for the page currently i'm using the page id here and i was looking it's a cart page let's type here cart and see if is there any class that comes with a cart so that i can target that class okay cart total I think I found it extra card no sticky extra card wrapper okay WooCommerce card yes so that class is WooCommerce card not sure if it's WooCommerce card let's try so add that custom CSS inside the inside here and add class WooCommerce card so that this style is only applicable inside WooCommerce card click publish go to cart page reload and see it's only applying here and if i didn't add the woocommerce cart class it will apply all website so because all the website the out of stock takes and everything looks perfect i do not want to touch all of them i only apply that css inside only cart page this page so i hope you understand how it works and how i have added the custom css code and that's all